Sam East Grove Street. Checking for a possible 1016. RP can hear screaming and pounding on the walls. Is it's a male and a female? RP also advising they possibly heard a gunshot, but also stated that it's normal for the area, unknown if it came from the apartment or outside. Also, that the male and female are possibly 1056 narcotics. East Grove Street. Reno Sam one seven six, give us a chance. No police! Hey! Jeez! Back up, back up! Don't fire! Don't fire! Reno Sam one seven six, we got shots fired. Once additional officers arrived, they were able to safely enter the apartment and provide medical aid to Herndon. He was then transported to a local area hospital for his injuries. None of the apartment complex residents or officers were injured as a result of Mr. Herndon's actions. The Sparks Police Department is the investigating agency for this incident and the involved officers are currently on administrative leave during this ongoing investigation. Mr. Herndon was arrested for two counts of assault with a deadly weapon and one count of possession of a firearm by a prohibited person. In the coming months, the Reno Police Department's Office of Internal Affairs will review all relevant information and make a determination as to whether the officer's tactics, drawing and use of a deadly weapon, and use of force were within policy and standardized procedures of the Reno Police Department. Those findings will be submitted to the Chief of Police for review in accordance with the Reno Police Department policy. This body-worn camera footage has been made available to our community to keep you informed. Any additional camera footage will be made available at the conclusion of the formal investigation. The Reno Police Department takes these incidents very serious and treat them accordingly. For questions or additional information regarding the Reno Police Department or our policies, please visit www.renopd.com.